It's been seven days since an 18-year-old took an AR-15 into Robb Elementary School and murdered 19 people, including children. It's been 17 days since an 18-year-old took an AR-15 to a supermarket in Buffalo, New York, and murdered people. Over these days, many of us have heard people say, I just don't have the words, and I understand that impulse. But the truth is, there are words to say, and we need to say them. Just last week, I gathered together in Houston, Texas, outside the National Rifle Association annual meeting with a bunch of other people of good conscience and protest to say we have to stop the murders. This is one of the signs that was there at that rally. This sign, these are the kinds of words we can say. Let's make murder more difficult. Look, we are stuck in a situation in this country where we have laws that allow people to carry weapons, but we can change those laws. We can say things about those laws and we can change people's behavior. We can call people to defund the ammunition industry, to defund the gun industry by not spending your money on weapons and guns from manufacturers who make AR-15 rifles and the bullets that go with them. And the other thing we can do, because there are words to say, is we can say those words in new legislation. Right now, Congress is meeting together to see if they can pass laws that will make us safer, or better said, will make murder more difficult. It's not too much to ask that if someone has in their heart or has in their broken mind the passion or the desire to murder another person, it is not too much to ask that we make that more difficult as a society. We can't stop every murder, but we can make it a whole lot harder for someone to do it. And AR-15 style rifles and the ammunition that goes with them and the culture that supports it makes it easier. Let's do everything we can to make it harder.